Okay, uh, what we're going to do in this video is we're just going to go ahead and make an entire skeleton. Um, so, I guess we could start off in front view here. And we're going to go to Create. Uh, actually, go to your Animation menu. And go to Skeleton Joint Tool. Um, this is going to be the... We're going to start out the pelvis, which is right here. So we're going to go Pelvis. Hip. Knee. Ankle. Whoops. I hit delete if you make a mistake like I just did. Make sure your four view is open. Go to your side view. That's ball and toe. Okay? So here's what we're making in perspective. Okay? Now you say, wow, this is why is this like this? Well, just hit this when you're done. So that's hip, knee. Ankle, as you can tell, the ankle is way too high. So we're going to bring this down. I'm sorry, that's the knee. That's okay, actually. Just so You can move the joints around just like this, just by clicking on them individually. I'm just going to adjust them after I place them. And you have to just bring this back a little. You're going to see why we have to do this later when we're setting up our reverse foot control. Okay? So let's just bring this forward. Bring this forward. And bring that back. So there we go. And we're just going to go ahead and name everything. So how do we name everything? Go to your window and your hypergraph. And the first join here, we're going to right-click and go to rename. We're going to call this pelvis okay go to joint 2 I could either right click here and go to rename or if I want I could click on joint 2 double click here and call this hip click on joint 3 knee click on joint 4 ankle ball and toe okay now we're just gonna duplicate this entire thing over here mm, you don't have to do that but it just makes life easy so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna click this actually we're gonna click that and go to skeleton mirror joint we want to mirror it over the XY axis. You can tell it's got a little messed up here. You have to move this over. I'm just going to rotate this. Okay, so now I don't have to go through the same thing and, you know, do everything twice. There you go. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our four view. And we're going to go to skeleton, joint tool. Let's go to our front view here. This is the pelvis. We're going to make the abdomen, the chest, the shoulder, elbow, wrist. And then we're going to select this and go to skeleton, mirror joint. And again, notice it mirrored here. Let's do this. Uh, control Z. Okay, let's grab this one. Skeleton, mirror joint. We'll do orientation. There we go. And we're just going to slide these over. Just go ahead and translate these right over. If you want to mirror it over this, which is our chest, we have to select the shoulder and that'll mirror everything over. Now we notice that, okay, we have a whole bunch of new joints. Oh, and these aren't connected either, right? They're, they're, they're disconnected. 
So what we want to do is we want the hip, I mean the pelvis, to be the parent of everything. So we're going to click the um, abdomen, shift click the parent, and hit P. And you notice now when we click this, that's the entire skeleton. That'll highlight the whole thing, which is good. See, it's a little messed up here with the orientation axes. We'll fix that later. So now we have to go ahead and name everything again. This is the annoying part, but it's not, it's not difficult. And notice hip one, knee one, ankle one, ball one, and toe one. That's the left side. It's actually the right side if you're looking at it that way. But if we're looking at it this way, it's, it's the left side. I'm going to do it as we're looking at it. That's uh, usually the way I work. So we're going to go to rename. We're going to call it R hip. R knee. R ankle. Just get rid of the one. R ball. Uh, just make the R lowercase, by the way. Okay. Just making this R knee, R hip, R ankle, R ball, and R toe. All right. And I'll do the same with the left as well. I didn't do that when I named it originally. So we'll just go back. This only takes a second. Go to pelvis, double click. I'm sorry, that's the left. Sorry about that. Uh, L underscore. Actually, let's do an um, L for uppercase L, just so it looks a little easier. Okay, I'm just going to pause this and let you guys do that and while I go ahead and do that. Okay. So as you can see it, I quickly pause it and let you guys do L toe, L ball, L ankle, L knee, L hip, R toe, R ball, R ankle, R knee, R hip, and then pelvis. Okay. Now we have to go ahead and name joint one, joint two. Joint one will be You'll notice there's not a lot of backbones here. We can, if you want, add more backbones. I actually want to do that. So middle mouse button over and break that connection. You'll notice now that when I middle mouse button over, it, it, it breaks the parenting. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to uh, Skeleton Joint Tool. We're going to go to Front View here. And we're going to add in... Actually, let's move this up first. Let's move, let's move this down. Let's move this up. And then skeleton joint tool. And we'll, we'll add a couple of joints. We'll add one, two, three. That should be good. Make a backbone. Okay, the way we're going to work is we're going to shift select this and then shift select the parent and hold P. So that'll connect that. Okay. Now we notice this is disconnected. We want this the bottom one to be the parent of this. So hold this, shift select that, and hold P. Okay? So now we have a nice backbone with everything parented. Now we have to name everything. Okay. So let's go ahead and call this back one, back two, back three, back four, chest. Okay, so I'll start here. Joint nine. Back one. Joint ten. Back two. Joint eleven. Back three. This is joint one here. Back four. Call this joint chest. shoulder. Just make sure you don't double click anything here in the hypergraph because it's annoying to undo. Okay, where were we? Okay, so that's our shoulder. Okay. Our elbow. Our 
our wrist. Okay. Then we have to go to the other side. L shoulder. Okay. L elbow. And then L wrist. All right. There you go. Okay, so that's that's that. Now we're not quite done. We have everything named. We just have to create a head and neck. So we're going to go to Skeleton, Joint Tool, and let's create one, two, three joints. And select the top, shift select the bottom, and of course P, because that parents it. Select this joint. We're going to call this Neck 1. Neck two, and then head. There you go. We're not quite done. There's one more thing we need to do. So we have this whole skeleton. The last thing we need to do is, well, there's a few things we need to do. We need to poke this elbow back a little bit. Just adjust the wrist. So if I go to top view here, um, it's forward a little bit. That'll come into play more when we uh, start rigging it. Okay, the last thing we have to do is the hand. Oh, this is the wrong way. And also move the shoulder in a little bit more. My shoulder's way out here. Move it in a bit more. If you're wondering, do the joints have to be the exact same distance away from each other? The answer is no. It's That's not really that important. Okay, there you go. Okay. Uh, now we're just going to create a hand real quick. Um, skeleton joint tool. Go to top view. And then we're just going to go ahead and create one, two, three. Hit enter. Hold down G. Skeleton joint tool. One, two, three. And you can see what we're creating here is, is a hand. This is like knuckle one, knuckle two, and then end of finger. I could actually hold control D and just duplicate that. If you're creating a human hand, obviously, you want to have five fingers. Okay, now I'm just going to select all these and move them up. I'll use my side view to help me with that. Go back to top view. And I'm just going to uh, move these in quite a bit. Now what I have to do is I have to parent everything. So I'm going to hold this. Shift select that and hold P. Hit P. Okay, that's one. Two, three, four, and five. Now you notice that add an extra joint. So we have, let's take a look at this in perspective. The hand looks a little big. Um, not a huge deal. You can scale this whole thing down like that. You, you don't need to do that, but. If you really want to, you can. Um, let's see. That's fine. Okay, there you go. Now, you, don't worry about naming the hand. You could do the same on the other side. Now, I'll, uh, you could actually select this if you want and go to Skeleton, and then we'll do the mirror joint thing again. Mirror joint option. Um, do the same thing, mirror. You'll notice it's, it's connected here, and you really don't want it connected. So we could go to our hypergraph. These are all the finger joints. Actually, this is getting confusing. So let's take a look at our outliner. Still confusing. Just delete it. 
and um, I'll pause the video or you could actually this ends the video just remake the same thing on the other side same thing obviously just have make sure the thumb is facing front alright so that concludes that video